Hi, my dear friends. Hello, my dear brothers and sisters. This is Babi Kitain, and welcome to Pathways of Hope. Happy Sunday to you. Today, allow me to share my reflection based on the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 18. They said that unless you recognize how much God has forgiven you, it will be very difficult for you to forgive others. Stated otherwise, it means that if you acknowledge the extent of God's mercy in your life, the more will you be able to extend mercy to others. I remember there was this time, nang umpisal po ako, I went to confession. And after confession, I felt so forgiven by God, and I was so grateful to the Lord. And then I went into my car and started driving. And then when I, I was on a stoplight, I was waiting for it to turn green. And when it turned green, suddenly the person behind me honked his horn. And I felt so irritated. And he kept honking his horn. And I was tempted to scream at him, to get mad at him. When I felt God speak to my heart telling me, Bobby, yung ginawa niya sa'yo, wala yun sa kalingkingan ang ginawa mo sa akin. Stated in English, God was telling me, Bobby, what he did to you was nothing compared to what you did to me. And then it dawned on me, if God was able to forgive me for my sin, the more I should forgive this person. Brothers and sisters, it is only when we recognize how much God has forgiven us that we can forgive others. And that's why Jesus in today's gospel, when Peter asked him, Lord, how many times must we forgive? 70 times? Jesus answered him, no, Peter. 70 times 7. Now, people in Jesus' time would understand what that means. When, when, when somebody says 70 times 7, don't start multiplying. <laughs> because what it really means is that the mercy, the forgiving, doesn't end. It has no limit. Jesus tells Peter, when you forgive others, don't put limits to it. Why? Because when God forgives you, God doesn't place limits as well. When we recognize the limitless mercy of God, the more we can be limitless in forgiving others. It is easy for us to complain and say, Lord, that's too difficult. If we continue to put ourselves from the perspective of somebody who forgives, but once we place ourselves in the perspective of someone who is forgiven by God, then instead of complaining, we become grateful. And people who are grateful become more forgiving. And so today, my friend, I want to encourage you to start thanking God first for the mercy that you have received from him. And only when you are overwhelmed by the mercy of God, that you will have the grace to be merciful to others as well. Let God's limitless mercy push you to forgive others. God bless you.